Hello everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Bajarnik. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories in ISL making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Peru has declared a state of emergency because of violent protests. The country's health ministry reported at least 20 people have died in demonstrations over the ousting of former President Pedro Castillo. But in addition to that, thousands of tourists from around the world are stuck in Machu Picchu because of the state of emergency. Demonstrations have forced authorities to shut down roads, highways, and train service. The mayor of Machu Picchu says there is also a food shortage and some tourists are running out of medication. Authorities are asking the government to arrange helicopter flights to evacuate tourists. Russia launched a new round of missile attacks across Ukraine Friday. Ukrainian officials say at least 76 missiles were launched at various cities across Ukraine killing at least three people and targeting critical infrastructure. The attacks triggered widespread emergency blackouts as temperatures plummeted and subway stations shut down, leaving passengers stranded. The U.S. continues to support Ukraine despite warnings from Russia. The Global Soccer Players Union is expressing concern over reports that Iran may execute 26-year-old soccer player Amir Nazir Azadani for participating in ongoing anti-government protest in the country. He played for Iran's national youth team for several major clubs inside the country. He was detained on November 27th. Iran authorities accuse him of being involved in an armed group and allegedly carrying out the killings of several members of the security forces. But activist rights groups say these are absolutely false allegations. The Players Union says it's shocked and sickened by these reports and stands in solidarity with Azadani. A Kenyan security guard fell while on duty at Qatar's Lucille Stadium and died. His employer says he fell from the eighth floor of the stadium while on duty. He suffered severe head injuries, facial fractures, and pelvic fractures. Officials in Qatar are investigating the circumstances that led up to the man's fall. 
He's the second migrant worker reported dead since the World Cup began. The mother of two children, whose bodies were found in suitcases in New Zealand earlier this year, has pleaded not guilty to their alleged murders. The 42-year-old woman remains in custody after being extradited from South Korea to New Zealand to face trial. Her name cannot be disclosed due to a court order. The woman was arrested in September in the city of Ulsan a few weeks after the children's bodies were discovered in suitcases bought by a family at an auction in Auckland. According to South Korean police, the woman was born in South Korea, but is a New Zealand citizen. The world's largest freestanding cylindrical aquarium in Berlin burst on Friday. The mayor says about 264,000 gallons of water leaked from the Aquadam Aquarium. A flood of water and debris rushed into a nearby street, which had to be shut down. Two people were hurt by splintered glass. Authorities have not said what happened to the 1,500 exotic fish that were inside. The 46-foot-tall aquarium is located in the foyer of a Radisson Collection Hotel. Company officials say guests were relocated and the hotel was closed. A fire official said the cause is under investigation. A dog in Wales is in big trouble. The border collie got behind the wheel of the family car shifted the gear and crashed into a neighbor's parked car on the street. The dog's owner tried desperately to stop the car from rolling away down the driveway, but it didn't work. The video was captured on a security camera that belonged to the man whose car was damaged. The man was not mad at all. He said, accidents will happen. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.